Hello, hello, family. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Okay. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Of course, before we get started, you know how we do it, family. I'd like to invite you to hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button, and come follow me as we discover our destinies. To my new subscribers and new followers, welcome, y'all. To my tribe and family at large, listen, welcome back. Thank you all for visiting my media resource and finding value in something that I have to say. I appreciate your time. And family, um, if you like the content that I am bringing to you, why don't we let the YouTube community know? And we can do that by simply hitting that like button. It gives our tribe and our family right here the greatest opportunity to grow. So you know, last night was our Thursday night live stream. It was simply tremendous and i tell you god met us there and it was just a beautiful beautiful night and so if you haven't had a chance to check out the live stream i invite you to go back to the video last night it was really good um god just he came in and i mean he just supped with us liberally the holy spirit and i want to invite each and every one of you out to um the Thursday night live streams at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 7 p.m. <clears throat> Central Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Listen, family, we do a deep dive into things that can help us heal, um, dropping different nuggets, gems, downloads from the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, it. I believe that it will bless your life. Great energy, information, conversation, revelation, come on, empowerment it it's there amen amen so i wanted to also mention our sister uh connie barnes i hope you get to see this video because i want to say thank you i did not get to recognize her last night um i didn't see her um her gift until after the stream was over but god bless you sis and may god return it to you without measure i appreciate you also, real quick, our sister Shannon Savoy of Narc Free Living has a domestic violence workshop that she is doing on tomorrow. The fee for that is $15, and I would love for you all to join us there. We're going to be there with her tomorrow at 11. It's going to be uh, 1 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. My time, it's uh, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, but the uh, information is in the community tab. So let's get to the video, though. The video, um, whew, I tell you, I haven't made a video on this one, but it's one of the most damaging games that um, the narcissist plays, you know. Please understand, it's done on purpose, okay? Please understand it's done on purpose. Now, with all of the abuse tactics that the narcissist enacts, on their victims daily all the time you know it's almost like you can't recover from one thing before you're going through something else and if you know anything about how the enemy gets down the enemy's job is to wear out the saints and i keep telling you all this to wear out the saints and he want to even wear out the ain'ts it doesn't matter but his job is to absolutely make sure that you are beaten down so low that you got to look up to see the bottom, okay? Now, these these birds right here, when when I talk about this particular this particular uh abuse tactic, I know pretty much 99.9% .9 of y'all are going to be able to identify with what I'm about to say. And you just have to know that it's done on purpose. Now, we know about the triangulation game, okay? We know that they triangulate, you know, you with everyone. And a narcissist will even triangulate you with a lie. Okay, let's just keep it all the way 100. But what you have to know as well as the triangulation game, when the triangulation game is um, is basically, you know, they pick the person. If, if they are trying to find a new person to triangulate you with or a new person, thing or situation because it doesn't necessarily have to be a person that they're triangulating with you with it could be the pet it could be the dog the cat it could be the job you know it could be any you know anything 
the triangulation game is is meant to incite uh, jealousy and insecurity. Now, in addition to the triangulation game, what they also like to do, and this is what I want to talk about, is they like to play the comparison game. Okay, narcissists love to do this. Okay, they love to do this because they want to make you feel along with the triangulation, which is already bad enough by itself. It's, it's not enough that they are trying to pretend that they have a valid reason for talking or bringing this person in. That's not enough for them. Okay. They have to really go in and start to think, start to talk about what this person did. Now, this is when they're uh, when they are actually triangulating you with a person, okay? And then sometimes it may not be in a triangulation situation. It may just be the fact that they just want to, they, they just, they're just feeling just that evil where they just want to sit up and compare you to someone else. Listen, you are uniquely made. Okay, you are uniquely made. You are uniquely crafted and created by the hands of the creator. Okay, no one should compare you to anyone, especially when it's supposed to be in a loving relationship. This is one of the things that they do. For instance, okay, oh, you know, I, I really wish that you could you could make this dish or make that dish and you make the dish for them. Oh boy, this was this, this was pretty good, but I remember so and so used to make it like this. And I remember they used to uh, uh, oh, and the shoes, I mean just anything, anything that they can find. Cuz what you have to understand is what you do for them is never enough. It's never enough, family. They don't care. Okay, so so check this out. You want to go on vacation. You plan the whole vacation. You haven't asked the narcissist to do anything, okay? And they didn't offer to do anything. You plan the whole vacation. They just told you, you asked them where would they like to go. They told you where, you know, so-and-so, this and that. They get on the vacation the whole time. They talking about where they went with someone else, how great it was, how awesome, how this, how that. Not that... You can't accept that they had a great experience, but why do I feel, why are you comparing? Because that's exactly what they're doing. They're making you, and, and they're not going to say, oh, well, um, I remember. They, they're not going to have an authentic conversation about it because if they were going to have an authentic conversation about it, it would have happened prior to taking the trip. Why couldn't the trip just be between the two of you and how much fun you're having and what you're enjoying, okay? No, it can't be that because, see, you got to understand if you're happy, the narcissist is sad, OK, so they have to bring you back down into that pit of misery with them. I mean, these Chinese crested don't stop. OK, these birds do not stop, family. I need y'all to please hit that like button. Is somebody going through this right now? Somebody is going through this right now and they don't even understand what's happening. The narcissist does this comparison game on purpose because they know that you are a person that you're always trying to fix things. You always want things to be perfect. And that's another thing. That's why I want y'all to make sure you get to that live stream that we did last night. When I tell you that thing, we talked about power versus pride. And let me tell you something the way that the Lord drop that thing in there last night you are going to listen stop trying to fix everything Tr stop trying to make everything perfect this is why they use that comparison tactic against you because they know and especially when you find out that you are dealing with a manipulative person when you are dealing with a person that has absolutely i mean just so disrespectful i mean how much more disrespectful can you be to sit up here in my face and talk about somebody else and what they did and how they did it. And all I'm trying to do is love you, care for you, and do the best that I can for you. And this is what you show me. Well, first of all, it's not love. Because if you, if we, what we got to understand is that's a whole nother video. We, we can't be in, we can't be, we can't be in a space of self-love when we are allowing people to do these types of things to us. I mean, family, come on.
I mean, seriously, you that they, they, you're gonna have the immediated gall to sit up here and talk about how your ex prepared a meal or how your ex uh, planned a vacation and how your ex or this person did this or this person did that. And I mean, it's not enough that you're gaslighting me. You're projecting. You're blame shifting. I can't ever do any right. I mean, you can't ever do anything right with uh, uh with the narcissist you can c cook them a whole meal they will eat up the plate listen they will eat up all the food on the plate and the plate too okay i mean shove the whole plate down their throat because you know they don't like to leave nothing <laughs> They don't like to leave anything, okay? The narcissist wants to leave you with nothing. If they could eat the fork and knife, they would too, okay? And then sit up there and still have something to say. Complaining. Just never, ever satisfied. So in that, this game right here, this comparison game, listen, you don't even know that it's damaging you the way that it is until you get out of it. Once you get out of it, you sit there and think, this this bird, I mean, come on, this rhino with a bow, come on, just, just really sat there and compared me to everybody. And they will put you, they will compare you to folks that, that don't, that's not even on your level. Oh, they do that. Oh boy, they do that on purpose. You be like, who? You talk about that, not even on your level. But that's because they want to bring that disrespect. That's because they have to do that. They got to make you feel like you're just inadequate. They have to make you feel like you can do nothing right. Because if, if they can continue to make you feel that way, they know they feel like this is the only way that they can keep you. Because see, they're nothing. So they got to make you feel like you're nothing. Right? And I mean, it's just like the kingdom of darkness. You see it. Satan does it all the time. You see how these people rise to stardom so fast. You let the next person come up. And this person, this person, he's, he's through using this one. That This one isn't giving him what he wants. He does, a, he, he does the same thing in the kingdom of darkness. Out with the old, in with the new. The, the narcissist has that same spirit. And then not only do they compare, but they have to get nasty with it. Okay. Disrespectful. And then they'll, and then I'm going to tell you, they will say something when they sitting up there doing the comparison and, and, and you, you have something to say about it. You want to clap back in that situation. Oh, baby, you better be ready because they could, they can say some of the nastiest things to you in that conversation. I mean, just period. But when you want to, when you want to clap back and you like, oh, but you know what? I don't want to hear about you. What's your ex and this and that. And uh, oh, let me tell you, they will go in. They will go in. Oh, and as I was just telling you, because you da, 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 you know, just going off, calling you stupid, out of your name, everything. Oh, that's that's why nobody wants to be with you. That's why nobody. And the females do it too. It's gender. You could flip the gender roles. You know, my ex did this for me, and he did that for me, and he made this and this and. This. And you sitting there like, well, why don't you go over there and be with him? You got all of this comparison. Go, what you? Why you leave? Why did you leave? You see what I'm saying? But this is done on per family. I need y'all to please hit that like button. Once is enough, family. Once is enough. Somebody, I know somebody's going through this. And they just need to like, what in, what in the world is going on? This is what it is. They do it on purpose. They do this on purpose. Okay, and I just want to put this out here. It's Friday, y'all. Family, I woke up with this on my mind this morning, on my heart. I said, listen, I need to share because this comparison has to stop. It's ridiculous. It really is. So family, I just wanted to share that with you all. Listen, I want you all to have a beautiful and blessed day. Y'all be safe out here. Uh, do something real good for yourself this weekend. Get you some rest. And uh, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all at the top. Okay, family? I love each and every one of you. You all be safe out there. And may God bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. Okay, family? So I will see you all on the next video. See you at the top. Shalom. Peace.